Welcome to this session on EU data transfer requirements, examples of supplementary measures. My name is Esther Stringham and I am a member of the AWS legal team. And I am Hans Bos from the AWS Security Assurance team, which works to help our customers run their regulated workloads on AWS. This session focuses on supplementary measures. So step four of the, the list that you see in front of you. Another session focuses on the data transfer assessment overall, so all six steps. This session, we'll be looking at the measures that can be implemented or are already implemented um, in relation to step four. As mentioned, we're going to be looking at examples of supplementary measures. This is not an exhaustive list, but provides you with an overview of the measures that AWS makes available and measures that you as the customer can implement. Typically, you, supplementary measures are divided into three different categories. Contractual ones, such as clauses on how law enforcement requests will be dealt with. Organizational ones, um, so these are steps in, that the customer takes to, to determine which region to use. And technical ones, such as configuration and security services that can be layered on top of the use of an AWS region. Another way of looking at it is also to look at the characteristic of the supplementary measure, which is whether or not it's there to prevent, protect, or detect um, processing in relation to personal data. On the contractual um, measure that AWS makes available, we have a data processing addendum, which covers the confidentiality of customer data, the confidentiality obligations of AWS personnel, and also the security of data processing. In addition, we have a supplementary addendum, which supplements, as the name suggests, the data processing addendum and focuses more specifically on requests for customer data from governmental bodies and also data subject rights. I'm now going to hand over to Hans to look at the, the organizational and the technical measures, or also as the, the characteristics that I highlighted before, the prevent, detect, and protect. Thank you, Esther. And I first wanted to highlight the AWS compliance programs, which help customers understand the robust measures and controls in place at AWS to maintain security and compliance of the cloud. Compliance certifications and attestations are assessed by a third party independent auditor and result in a certification audit report or attestation of compliance. For example, ISO 27017 provides guidance on the information security aspects of cloud computing, recommending the implementation of cloud-specific information security controls. And ISO 27018 is a code of practice that focuses on the protection of personal data in the cloud. Also, ISO 27701 specifies requirements and guidelines to establish and continuously improve the Privacy Information Management System, the PIMS. It provides a set of controls and associated guidance additional to ISO 27001 for processors and controllers of personal data. Another one, often referred to in Europe, is the Cloud Computing Compliance Controls Catalog, or C5, which is a German government-backed attestation scheme to help organizations demonstrate operational security when using cloud services. And as a last example, the Cloud Infrastructure Services Providers in Europe, CISP, Data Protection Code of Conduct. CISP is a coalition of cloud computing leaders together serving millions of European customers. In collaboration with the French Data Protection Authority, CNIL, CISP developed the CISP Data Protection Code of Conduct, which was approved by the European Data Protection Board as the first pan-European data protection code of conduct focused on cloud infrastructure services. This CISP code helps customers ensure that AWS offers appropriate operational assurances to demonstrate compliance with the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR. I want to highlight another measure under customer control, and I want to start by explaining that AWS has the concept of a region, which is a physical location around the world where we cluster data centers. We call each group of logical data centers an availability zone. And each AWS region consists of multiple isolated and physically separate availability zones within a geographic area. Today, we have five AWS regions in the EU, in Ireland, Germany, France, Sweden, and Italy, and we announced a new region in Spain. 
customers can use AWS services with the confidence that their customer data stays in the AWS region they select. Only a small number of AWS services involve the transfer of customer data, for example, to develop and improve those services where customers can opt out of the transfer, or because transfer is an essential part of the service, such as a global content delivery service. Customers that want to strengthen their own control and evidence on using specific AWS regions in the EU can create a prescriptive Identity and Access Management IAM, policy that denies their users programmatic or console access to any actions outside the regions they specified. This establishes an effective guardrail and implements restrictions on the AWS regions these customers use. Customers may also consider implementing further control over their use of AWS via additional policies and guardrails. These can, for example, be implemented with AWS Control Tower. Control Tower provides our customers with an integrated dashboard so that they can see a summary of the policies they apply to their AWS environment. They can then view details on the accounts provisioned, the guardrails enabled across these accounts, and an account level status for compliance with their guardrails. With AWS Control Tower, customers can provision new accounts, knowing that these accounts immediately conform to company-wide policies. And when building a new AWS environment, Control Tower will help get started quickly with governance and best practices built in. AWS Control Tower provides the control and visibility of the status of compliance to the policies our customers set for their AWS environment on the detection of personal data. As organizations manage growing volumes of data, identifying and protecting sensitive data, including personal data, can become increasingly complex, expensive, or time-consuming. Amazon Macy is a fully managed data security and data privacy service that uses machine learning and pattern matching to discover and protect sensitive and personal data in AWS. Macy automatically provides an inventory of Amazon S3 buckets, including a list of unencrypted buckets, publicly accessible buckets, and buckets shared with AWS accounts outside those that customers defined in AWS organizations. Another customer measure is, of course, the encryption of customer data leveraging AWS Key Management Service, or KMS. KMS makes it easy for our customers to create and manage cryptographic keys and control their use across a wide range of AWS services and in their own customer applications. AWS KMS is a secure and resilient service that uses hardware security modules, or HSMs, that have been validated under FIPS 140-2 to protect the keys. The customer's keys are only used inside these HSM devices and can never leave them unencrypted. AWS KMS is integrated with AWS CloudTrail to provide our customers with logs of all key usage to help them meet their regulatory and compliance needs. The security and quality controls in AWS KMS have been certified under multiple compliance programs. AWS KMS provides the option to store your keys in single tenant HSMs via AWS Cloud HSM instances that you control. Customers can configure AWS KMS to use such a Cloud HSM cluster as a custom key store rather than the default KMS key store. With a KMS custom key store, customers benefit from the integration between KMS and AWS services that encrypt data while retaining control of the HSMs that protect their KMS master keys. KMS Custom Key Store gives you the best of both worlds, combining single tenant HSMs under your control with the ease of use and integration of AWS KMS. Cloud HSM protects our customer keys with exclusive single tenant access to temper resistant HSM instances in their own Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, or VPC. Cloud HSM offers the flexibility to integrate with customer applications using industry standard APIs. And as it is standards compliant, it enables customers to export their keys to most other commercially available HSMs. As a final example, customers around the globe, from governments and highly regulated industries to small businesses and startups, trust Amazon Web Services with their most sensitive data and applications. The Nitro system 
is the underlying platform for all modern Amazon EC2 instances and is a great example of how we have invented and innovated on behalf of our customers to provide additional confidentiality and privacy for their most sensitive data and applications. There are three main types of protection provided by the Nitro system. Protection of your workload from AWS operators, protection of your workload from AWS system software, and third, protection of your workload from your own operators and software. The Nitro system's unique approach to virtualization and isolation enables our customers to secure and isolate sensitive data processing from AWS operators and software at all times. And optionally, via Nitro enclaves, even from our customers' own software and operators. Thank you, Hans, for those examples of supplementary measures that AWS provides and also that you as a, an AWS customer can, can utilize. Um, this is an evolving area of law, both on the regulatory and on the legislative side, and we will always work to ensure that our customers and partners can continue to enjoy the benefits of AWS everywhere that they operate. Thank you for watching this session. We hope that you have found it informative and helpful. There is also a number of other resources available on our data protection and privacy web pages.